Okay, y'all, last time I was on here and I used the term hotel. So, this what really got me going on with some of these ideas. Now, I saw my daughter with one of these. She came home one day, she had this. I walked around, I was like, what is that thing? I thought it was the coolest thing. One of these little star projectors. And it really does set the mood for the atmosphere of a room. You know, change the whole thing. So I said, that'd be neat for the living room, you know, just to, for the house, change change the atmosphere of the house on a, you know, mood. So I brought one, but I did not know that this thing right here actually comes, that they, you know, whatever brand comes, it's actually Wi-Fi where you can turn it on and off anywhere, you know, just like I said, the bodega, and you can run the Wi-Fi, so if you're at work, you can turn it on and off. People probably said, well, why would I need to do that? I can just do it. Well, sometimes people might want to walk home into it, or you might leave and say, oh, man, I forgot to take it off, you know, my electricity, whatever. That way you ain't got to worry about it. You can just shut it off from the app. But I got into all this little stuff because when me and my wife travel, we go to hotels, I wanted to change the atmosphere of going into these hotel rooms just a little bit. You know, some people want to spend a whole bunch of money on a luxury room. I said, you know what? What can we do to save money? And just change the atmosphere in the room. So what I got into, a lot of stuff that I brought from between Timu, AliExpress. And I even walked in Walmart and found this one in Walmart for like 20 bucks. This is a nice size. Brought some portable air purifiers. You see them, advertise them, use them. You can use these in your car. Um, you know, I take these on travels with me to put in the room. And what I do is I take little cotton balls and put them in the bottom part of, of it. I'll show you what I do. I love these things. They're nice, I'm telling you. And you know, sometimes, you know, just to change the atmosphere, the, the, the smell of them. So you just open it up. And, you know, here's the air filter that comes. And you can go on uh, Timu and buy replacement air. Here. And I put little cotton balls down. I put a little fragrance on it. Put it in there and turn it on. And I'm telling you, it makes the room smells nice it really does and then you know if you're in a dry climate area you can uh, oh they got cotton ball right there cotton ball right there got the cotton ball right and then you got the dry areas and if you type of person want to sleep you know have problems with sleep you know you put these on clean the air because i put these by the bed in the hotel room pool and all that and then i might turn these on put some ice water in in these portable humidifiers these things work great you know to put a like, nice little cool mist in the air sleep keep you cool and i got all this off team move like for nothing like five bucks three bucks cheap you know like i said pay 20 bucks for that i got these projectors off of tv and which changed the, just usbs this one is a moon a little star light one and this one is like a little party light one. And I actually got a little portable battery pack that I had that's in here. Dropped it right in here. Now, I don't take, I, I did take this one, but I said, you know what? This is too big to take. So I went on to move. And I, and I got all the stuff to take with me when I went down to, we just recently went to the Dominican Republic. And I'm going to touch on that hotel secrets. And I'm telling you right now, the stuff that you read about that place is actually true. There are some of the reviews. So I got this one to uh and this is just a smaller version usb2 i mean my wife loved it all she always loved this stuff and i set the stuff up in these rooms it just changed the whole atmosphere but you know and that's the thing i was gonna say you know we took the stuff to dominican republic and yeah, stayed there now secrets i'm gonna touch on that real quick we read the reviews about secrets and we saw like some of the things they say so we ran across the guy if you read about the coconut guy they're right right he's not giving it to you for free so if the coconut guy wanders around, just be mindful. If he actually want a coconut, he want, he want money for that. And no, it's not included. Um, and the, I'm going to touch on basis on about that, about the mold. People talk about mold. Okay, people, that's a 50-50 split. I'm going to tell you right now, it's humid. It's all hell down there. It is extremely humid. Your pool, we have one of the rooms where the pool was right there on the room. So between that humidity and that pool water, and that warm pool water, as soon as you open that cool, cold room, because you got your air conditioning going, it just absorbs all that humidity. And I mean, okay, that stuff gets in the wall, it gets all over the floor. I mean, your room, like you like you actually dump water in there. So I would say if you're going to go there, 
make sure you take a travel size dehumidifier to cut down on the humidity of the room. That's where all that mold and humidity, I'm telling you, you ain't getting away from it. You got to keep that doors closed. You can't just be like out in the patio. It, it will just saturate the room. That's where all the mold comes from. Luckily, we our room did have mold, but we talked to a lot of guests there who did. Had to keep moving because their room had mold on it. But they, they ain't got, they're, if they're not going to put the humidifiers in the rooms with those private pools, it ain't nothing that's going to happen. It's gonna, it's, that's just what you're going to deal with. And the last thing is that situation where you'll read about them talking about nobody gets their bottle. Well, they promise you a complimentary bottle when you get there. And we asked for it, and it was there for like five days, kept asking for it, they kept telling us to bring it. And like the reviews say, the people never bring the bottle, which we need to get. I think Hilton runs that hotel. So Hilton needs to look into um, where those bottles at is not going to their guests. And if it's not going to their guests, then somebody need to look and see where those contramentary bottles are supposed to be um, inside of the package. Where are they? Because we as the guests, we wasn't getting them like it was promised when we booked the trip. So I'm telling people, be aware of that. And as soon as you get there and they talk about they want you to do the timeshare on that, you ask for that bottle. Say, look, I came in for that bottle. I mean, not came for, I came in for my trip. Ask right out the gate. If they offer you that package, make sure you ask for that as soon as you get there. Say, look, I want this. And if not, I'm getting in contact with corporate. But... For right now, I mean, when you go there on the outside, the place is, I mean, it's completely, it's clean. It's real clean. I mean, that's one thing I'm going to give them. The place is very clean. They, they clean constantly. So the place is very clean. I will give them that. So the refrigerators, nah, they okay. They're not really refrigerated. They're just cooling units. So your stuff don't get in the refrigerator. It does not get cold. All right. So I just wanted to give people a heads up on that. But that's a no-go for us. We're not going back there. But this is some of the other stuff that I brought from t -Boo. And just, you know, I carry with me when I travel, like when I take my boot data refrigerator. And like I said, these little bit of stuff, I throw them in little bags, take them with me, set them up when I get to the hotel. Awesome. I like it. My wife likes it. She just likes the new experience that we do when we travel and go to these hotels. And like I said, throw these in the undercarriage, some of the stuff in the undercarriage. Take them when we go on trips overseas and when we get in the room, doesn't matter. Because, you know, you take your little whatever, sprays or whatever, put them in there, turn it on, change everything. All righty. That is the review of the air purifiers, the travel size air purifiers, the travel size um, humidifiers, which now I'm going to have to look in and start finding me some travel size dehumidifiers for that reason when we went to the Dominican Republic. Oh, I want to bring something else up to you real quick, a little something. I found this yesterday at the dollar. So it's a small USB vacuum cleaner, which surprisingly actually worked. Found it at the dollar store. Well, we was looking to see where we can find more because we just happened to grab it. Went to another dollar store on the way home and said we're going to get some more since we found out they work. But the other dollar store isn't. Somebody's on Amazon selling these for $10. People, please, if you see these things more than a dollar fifty, anything like that, do not buy these things. These things, we got them at the dollar store for a dollar twenty-five. You know, the Dollar Tree. So if you see these things more expensive than that, these little small portable vacuum cleaners, do not pay nobody no money for these things. They're getting them from the dollar stores for and, and I mean, like I said, with the Amazon, somebody's trying trying to sell this thing on there for $10. Be aware. All right. So I got some other stuff coming up with some new Bluetooth speakers that they came out. Very price conscious. They're very good. Uh, I mean, nice Bluetooth speakers. So we're going to next time. I'm going to get to you with that. All right.